BART IS PUSHING FOR A MAJOR CHANGE. IT WANTS ALL PASSENGERS TO TRADE THOSE PAPER TICKETS FOR CLIPPER CARDS. KPI X5'S DA LINDS IN OAKLAND WHERE QUITE A FEW PEOPLE ARE STILL uh, USING THOSE PAPER TICKETS. DA? A BART SPOKESWOMAN SAYS 14% OF THE PASSENGERS STILL USE PAPER TICKETS. THAT'S ABOUT 57,000 PEOPLE A DAY. STARTING ON MONDAY, THE 19TH STREET STATION IN OAKLAND WILL STOP SELLING THEM. But visitors say it doesn't make sense for them to buy clipper cards. BART's riders have used paper tickets for decades. The transit agency in recent years have encouraged people to ditch paper to go with plastic. BART says 86% of its riders now use clipper cards. By eliminating paper tickets, we're going to eliminate that waste. Paper tickets can also jam our fare gates because they have to be inserted and be processed through the fare gate. Aside from efficiency and convenience, BART says it's cheaper to use clipper cards. Seniors and youth also get discounts. There's a 50 cent per trip surcharge right now if you do use a paper ticket. So if you're doing a round trip, that's an extra dollar that you're paying. All four of these stations will stop selling paper tickets by September 24th. The pilot program starts at the 19th Street Station on Monday. Whoever invented this, you did a good job. <laughs> Many BART riders say they love the fact that most transit agencies in the Bay Area already use clipper cards. I still have my paper ticket. Uh, it has about $4 on it still, so I think I'm going to use it before it's over with. People can still use paper tickets at stations that won't sell them anymore. The biggest problem is for visitors like these two from Wisconsin. Having to buy a $3 plastic ticket that you're just going to end up throwing away, I don't know, that seems wasteful to me. It seems less convenient and probably more wasteful from an environmental perspective. It's not perfect, but Bard says the $3 one-time clipper fee is still cheaper than renting a car or paying for gas. In Oakland, I'm Dahlin, KPIX 5.